Hey guys, today I want to teach y'all how to turn this into this. Let's go! Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Sarah or is it you or Sarah Chun. Joining me today is special guest Mirage, like the lady from The Incredibles. Today I have a wig application tutorial for y'all. A lot of exciting things are happening behind the scenes for Sachu Beauty, which by the way, if you haven't yet, you should follow on Instagram. There's gonna be a product reveal coming soon. Not gonna say when, but coming soon. But I still wanna post regular content. And this year I've been really getting into wigs. And let me just tell you, I am not talented in hair at all, but I was so determined because wigs gave me so much confidence and I love switching up my hair. So I just wanted to show y'all how I apply my wigs. There were a lot of tips that I learned from the internet, some work for me and some didn't but i also want to shout out my girl priscilla from leia lux hair i had my hair professionally installed by her and she just completely like everything just clicked in my head she gave me so many tips and i still go to her but i want to show y'all how i apply my own wigs at home you will need a couple products but it is very beginner friendly i have a really big head and if i can apply a wig on my head it will work on yours too so yeah if you want to see how i apply my wig start to finish just keep watching so let me start off with how i tone this hair so this is the 613 hair which is I think the lightest you can bleach hair and basically when you buy 613 hair I got this one from Aliexpress I'll link the seller in the description as well basically when you get 613 hair it's not dyed it's not toned it's just pure bleached hair so what I want to do is to make it as ashy as possible like like I said Mirage from The Incredibles and it turned out okay I think it's pretty close to what I want and yeah isn't she pretty I used three bottles of the Wella toner and this is the color. If you're a beginner, just buy the wig in the color you want because customizing and coloring is a whole other thing and it's really difficult and if you go wrong with it, it could ruin your hair. I have ruined wigs before because I'm so bad at coloring. So let's start with how to put on a wig cap. These are the wig caps I get. Just get ones that are as close to your natural skin color as possible. There usually aren't very many in my skin color. This is the closest one. So I'm working with like three day old hair so it's kind of gross. What you want to do is to make your natural hair as flat as possible. A lot of people do this by doing braids and braids just don't work for my hair. What I do to really just compress it, is, and this step is especially important because a bulky wig, just it just gives you away immediately. So you wanna really press that hair down, especially if you have a big head. So what I do is I use the Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray and I really just spray the fuck. By the way, this all comes out with shampoos. And then I use a little rat tail comb. Just comb all my hair back. And then what you're gonna do is tie all that hair into a low ponytail. Basically the lowest ponytail you can do. Area you really wanna be careful with is the sideburns. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more. And it's completely okay to use a toothbrush to brush this up. If you want to use some hair gel for that too, that's fine. Something that's a little bit more solid. We'll be able to get all the little bits. And I'll explain why this is important later. Basically, you really, really want your sideburn hairs, all of it in place. And if some of the baby hairs aren't going back with the free spray, just add a little bit of gel. You can push everything back. Once that's done, I take my wig cap and I just apply this like that. And I'm gonna push this back a little. And if you're doing the ponytail method instead of braiding your hair, you can't do the ball cap method because once you cut a hole, your ponytail is going to just drop. And then I'm putting on the second wig cap. Now that that's done, we can apply the wig. So this is a lace wig with straps in the back and everything, but usually I don't even need that because my head is so big. I don't need to fasten anything. But what you want to do is just put this on from the back and make sure the clips are in from the back. The clips are in here and I just clip this in the sides. I'm gonna pull this down a little. And you basically just want it as close to your hairline as possible. You see how my eyes are super lifted now? It's because this is pulling on my head so hard. It's like when you have a really tight ponytail, this is what it does. So when I wear a wig, people are like, what happened to your eyes? It's because of the wig. Now, a couple things about picking a wig. I like to get what's called a frontal wig. It's 13 by six inches. So 13 inches from ear to ear. 
right here is the lace and six inches back so what that does is if you have a natural part that's something that's going to make your hair look a lot more realistic that's why i like getting lace fronts you can also get closures which are typically a little bit cheaper but for closures you basically can't really tuck your hair behind your ear or lift your hair up or anything like that so i just think that 13 by 6 inches lace front wigs work the best for me now the next part i'm just going to tie my hair up oh another thing about getting lace front wig not all lace is the same there's something called invisible lace xg lace swiss lace and i basically what i need to go for for my skin tone is invisible lace or super light tinted lace most wigs i've seen have a medium brown lace and that just doesn't work for every skin tone this one is pretty invisible so once you kind of see where you want the wig to be you want it to be right in front of the wig cap so it just looks like the hair grew out of your skin. Now I'm just going to cut the lace. And some people like to use razors. I just, I don't know why. I just think that scissors work the best for me. So I like to cut the lace in sections. Basically, you just want to cut as close as possible to the actual hair. And another thing is you really want the lace itself to look a little jagged. So you can't really see where the blunt line is. And that's how you hide a lace. This lace actually looks really good. And then I'm going to use a lace glue. This is by Priscilla's brand, Lia Lux. And basically, I'm just going to dot the lace glue. It is a little bit uh, intimidating. But if you've never used a lace glue, just imagine it like eyelash glue. That's basically the same thing, but stronger. And I'm gonna dot this around the hairline here as well. And you wanna make sure the glue is all the way here, not so much on the hair, but right where the sideburns are. Because if you have wig sideburns, which I'll show you later, it'll make your wig look so much more realistic. So I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. I'm just going to pull this down I'm just applying the lace this part always makes me so nervous and anywhere that you feel like might need a little bit more extra help you can just add a little more and like there's a little bit of lifting right here so I'm going to apply a little bit more once you kind of glue the whole lace down, I use something like this. Basically just a piece of long fabric. Uh, this is just a cut up t-shirt and you just want to wrap it around the hairline. Do one knot right here. Another one in the back. Wait at least 10 minutes for everything to set. A few moments later. It's been a while, so let me take this off. Now because this is completely stuck onto your sideburns, I like to just bring a little couple pieces down here and then put the rest behind the ear. Okay, but we are not done. It is completely optional, but I want to make the roots a little bit more realistic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a matte eyeshadow. I'm using the Fenty Beauty 6 palette and I'm just dusting a little bit right at the roots of the part. You don't have to do your whole head because that's gonna take forever, but a little bit of that is going to make it look like you grew this hair yourself. Makeup usually comes off pretty easily with wigs. Go ahead and wash it with shampoo, that kind of stuff. It comes off pretty easily. So if you are feeling like roots that day, you can apply roots. If you don't want roots, you don't have to apply roots. I just think roots make it look a little bit more realistic. And make sure you do the whole part, not just the front, because how deep your part is, is also going to make it look a lot more realistic. Like that. And then what I like to do is I use a almost nude pigment. Um, you just want to use a concealer or a pigment, eyeshadow, whatever it is, that's a little bit lighter than your natural skin tone. What I'm using today is Vanessa Myrick's color fix pigment which is one of my favorites this is in the shade nude one just need a little bit and if you can see really closely you can still kind of see where the wig cap is because the lace is invisible so what i'm gonna do is just dot this right in the part and it's okay if your part isn't completely perfect that's just what makes it look 
more realistic. We add a little bit more. So like I said, I already straightened the hair before I put it on my head, so it's pretty straight already. But in order to lay this hair flat flat, this is something that I do. You wanna use a wax stick. This is also by Leia Lux Hair, and it looks like this. You just push the product out like that, and you just follow where the part is and wax your hair down. This is also going to tame all of your flyaways. Some people like a little like bend in the hair like they want the hair to go up and then down and that's also a really great way of styling it i just like my hair laid completely flat and then i take a hot comb this by the way i would never use on my real hair i got some questions about it on instagram this is really good for wig styling but never ever for your real hair at least not for me i would burn myself and if you see any bumps or anything like there's a bump right here you can just go over it or you could even use the back of it we just really iron it down. You see the difference of this side and this side? Crazy! Now I'm gonna do this side as well. This wax stick and hot comb method really made such a huge difference in how flat my wigs lay. So I thought this was going to be the last step, but I changed my mind and I wanted something with a little bit more layers, a little bit more lived in. So I trimmed a little bit of my hair and used a straightener to create a bend at the end. So it can look a little bit more lived in and a little bit more natural. And this is the final look. I really like how it came out. I'm gonna add Mirage to my wig collection. I hope y'all found this helpful. If so, like the video for the algorithm. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.